Hey there, how's it going? This is Seth from the RE Tipster blog. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about motion sensor light switches and how they can change your life. Stick around. All right, so for the past few months, I have been geeking out about motion sensor light switches. Early this year, I bought a new house and you know, if you've ever bought a new house before, you're probably familiar with the process of going back and forth to stores like Home Depot and Lowe's. When you see little things you wanna fix up around your house, something that I wanted to start experimenting with a little bit was putting these motion sensor light switches in different rooms in my house. And chances are you've probably seen these before when you're walking into like a public restroom because these things will sense when there's motion in the room and when people leave the room, they turn themselves off. Usually after waiting like, a minute or five minutes or even 15 minutes. And the reason these light switches are so cool is because first of all, they can save a ton of energy. If there's ever a case where somebody like accidentally forgets to turn the lights off when they leave the room, that basically gets eliminated with these because as long as they don't sense any motion for the amount of time that you designate, they're gonna turn themselves off. Another reason I think they're kinda cool is because, you know, when I walk into a room, I don't have to like fumble for the light switch, especially in situations that I've found like whenever I am walking down the basement stairway of my house, nine times out of 10, when I'm walking down that stairwell, I have a bowl of ice cream in one hand and a bowl of popcorn in the other. And I can't be bothered with having to mess with light switches. I mean, it's ridiculous that I should be expected to have to do that. So with these new kinds of light switches in place, obviously, as soon as it sees me coming down the stairs, it's gonna turn itself on. And as soon as I'm done, it's gonna turn itself off. I'll be the first to admit, this is a very, very minor thing kind of like a first world problem, but I'll tell you, it's an amazing thing when you can just walk through your house and the lights turn themselves on and turn themselves off whenever you're there. It's, it's a really cool, kind of a life-changing thing once you start to experience it yourself. So there's actually a number of different companies out there that make these kinds of light switches. The company that makes the ones that I'm using is called Lutron, and I haven't really tried the others to be honest, but I gotta tell you, I've been very, very impressed with the light switches that Lutron makes. I've actually actually put a lot of these in my house, in bathrooms, laundry rooms, garages, basement rooms, storage rooms, utility rooms, and they can sense motion that is very, very fine. So as long as somebody is in there, it's not gonna turn off on you. And Lutron actually has light switches that are even more sophisticated, and they can not only see motion, but they can even hear sound. So for example, if you put one of these in a bathroom, and you've got somebody who's taking a shower behind the shower curtain, and it can't actually see any motion, but somebody's still there, these kinds of light switches can hear the noise in the room and it will keep itself on because of that. So if you've got a special situation where you want it to stay on when it hears water running or typing fingers on a keyboard, things like that, they have that kind of thing available too. They've also got these special motion sensors that you can put on your ceiling or on your wall. And the nice thing about these is that they're battery powered, which means you don't have to wire anything up or dig into your walls to set it up. Whenever this thing senses motion, it sends a radio signal to this special switch, which is a little bit different than the other one I just showed you, and then this will automatically turn itself on and off. And this solution is a little bit more pricey. This item here I think is about 50 bucks, in this one, I've seen different prices out there, but they range anywhere from like 80 to 120 bucks, depending on where you get it and whether or not they're having a sale. This probably wouldn't be my first choice, but there are some situations where the motion sensor itself on the switch can't always see everywhere in the room, but this thing can. So if you had a situation like that, these could be worth looking into as well. All of the motion sensing switches I've got in my house also have a feature where they can sense daylight. So say if you're in a room like this room I'm in right Right here, if there was a motion sensor on that wall over there, it would be able to detect that there is ambient sunlight coming into the room. And because of that, it does not need to turn on when somebody walks in the room because there's already enough ambient light there. But obviously when it gets darker and it's nighttime and there isn't any ambient light, then it would turn on. So it's kind of like a smart system. And because of that, it can save even more energy on autopilot. It's not something you have to think about. It'll just do it for you. I'll also tell you, I have two small children in my house and we try to you know, always teach them to turn the switches on and off and that kind of thing. But if they ever don't do that, 
That's okay too, because these switches are gonna turn themselves off. We're not gonna have situations where somebody leaves the lights on all day long and then we come back to realize we've been wasting electricity all day. For a lot of reasons, I think these kinds of switches make tons of sense. And I'm frankly kind of surprised these aren't a more common thing in a lot of homes out there because they're really cool and they work really well. In terms of the cost of these light switches, this particular one is a single pole application, so it only works when there is one switch that controls the light, and these are less than $20 a piece. There's also a three-way option, which costs less than $30 for those. That's when you can turn the lights on and off from two or more different locations. One thing I will say is that these kinds of uh, motion detector light switches don't make sense all the time. For example, I would never put one of these in a bedroom, and I probably wouldn't put one of these in like a TV room. Think through your house, think of all the rooms where whenever there's a person in that room, you always want the lights on. For example, a bathroom. I can't think of any reason why you'd want to be in a bathroom with no lights on. So if you're there, the lights should just turn on. Same thing with like a laundry room or a garage or any kind of a basement utility room, anything like that, then I think these things are a great idea. But if you've got like a bedroom where just because you're in the room and moving, it doesn't mean you want the lights on. Those are the situations where you probably would not want to have one of these things involved. So just think it through. And what I would suggest is just buy one of these things and just see if you like it. And if you think it's helpful, then consider getting more of them because the only thing it's gonna do after you pay for the cost of the switch is save you money and make your life easier. So I definitely thought these things were cool. I wanted to recommend them to you because I've had a great experience with them. And I'll tell you, this is nothing that Lutron is paying me to say. I'm literally just doing this because I think it's a really, really cool product and I've had a great experience with it. So since I loved it so much, I wanted to pass it along to you and uh, Hopefully you find it useful. Thanks. See ya.